All right, welcome back, SMS crew. Um, it is currently Thanksgiving, and it is 5:55 in the evening. So we got a little unconventional video, but nevertheless, it is still going to be an enjoyable video. Um, today, we're going to do a little catch and cook on a coon that I have previously caught, and um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into that. So we've got it right here into this pot. Cast iron. Cast iron pot. And what we're going to do is cook it on this gas stove. We're going to boil it for several hours, trying to get all this fat off and just kind of loosen it up, get it ready to fall off the bone. And we're going to be using some of these seasonings here. We've got uh, seasoning salt, Miss Dash, poultry seasoning, garlic powder, chopped onions, salt and pepper, and then this Crayole seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up with water, season it, and I'll catch you guys whenever it's ready to be done boiling. So that's my Madre. She's putting the seasonings and stuff in there. You basically just wanna kinda of season it to your taste. But she also mentioned that she's gonna put a little bit of butter in there and to make sure that you want this raccoon completely submerged in the water or almost completely submerged in the water otherwise it will dry out so just keep that in mind when you make your raccoon okay so a little update for you guys it's been about an hour on this catch and cook and so that's what it's looking like so far not gonna lie it's looking pretty tasty smelling that way too um so it might get a little low on water, so if you have to add any water, by all means, go ahead and do so. Um, make sure you stay tuned, because we got some crazy stuff coming for this video. Alright, another update for you guys. We just got back from Black Friday shopping. It's currently Black Friday. And uh, we let it go the entire time while we were gone. And that is what it's looking like now. Man, i tell you what. I can eat this thing right now the way it is. But I can't, because we got good stuff to do with it for tomorrow. So we are going to go ahead and let it cool off, and then we're going to debone it, throw it in the crock pot, and let it sit. Are we going to throw it in the crock pot tonight? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. We'll let it sit in we'll the barbecue in, sauce overnight. Let it sit in the barbecue sauce overnight, and we'll turn it on sometime tomorrow and let it get cooking. Alright guys, it is the next day. It is currently 10.50. Don't know if you guys can see that. I've uh, been working on this since about 10 o'clock, but uh, so we let it sit overnight and just kind of get cooled off and so this morning I went and just basically deboned it all and there's the bones and stuff and shredded it. Now I reseasoned it because in the process some of the seasoning got lost, but uh, now we're just going to put um, both of these in there. Um, we use KC Masterpiece. That's just my family's personal favorite. You don't have to use KC Masterpiece. You can use whatever you guys like. But uh, we're going to put it in the cock pot or warm. Just let it heat up all day and we'll catch you when it's ready to eat. Alright guys, it is finally done. Uh, it's been sitting in there for about 7 or 8 hours. That's what it looks like now. Uh, we're going to be eating it with some seasoned french fries. We're just going to be putting it on um, hamburger buns and eating it like pork sandwiches so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hope you guys enjoy as much as we do 